Hey everybody, it's Timo here. So in today's video, we have two possible videos that we could go through. In one video, I'm being accused of being a cheater. And this is the episode number two that came from Wilson Games. Basically, a guy took my content out of context and uploaded on his YouTube channel. Not only he tried to defame me, but also he did it in the most malicious way. On the other hand, we have a guy who tried to defend me. After um, siding with the Wilson Games, one pair decided to do his own research he went he found the content um on my channel he found those widows and those widows convinced him that i'm actually not cheating but uh we got to see um the response in action but since we have two widows to watch we gotta decide which one will we watch first so in order to decide which video is gonna be next let's do the coin flip if it's gonna be heads it's gonna be um, Wilson games, you know, if it's gonna be Tails, it's gonna be um, one pack. Let's decide, let's see, let's do a little uh, flip. Once again, heads, Wilson, Tails, uh, one pack. Let's do it. Oh god. Ah, fuck. Oh well, it is what it is. We would have to struggle through and watch this guy who is trying to falsely accuse me of being a cheater. And this time around, I do believe he tried to not take stuff out of context. And basically, we're gonna watch it. But if you want a proof that he already did take stuff out of context, you don't need to believe me. You could believe a trusted source one pack. And basically, you could go and check his video out. But as for now, we gotta see what this guy has to say. Let's turn this off and let's check it out. Yeah. All right. Let's welcome get back it. to another suspicious, suspicious video. You could say, uh, I'll stand by it. I think this stuff is crazy suspicious. Uh, it's just, it's really well hidden. I'm not saying he's not an exceptionally good player, but he can also be doing really weird things. So yeah, sure. I'm not a 4,000 hour gamer. Maybe once I, I reach those heights, I can make comments on all this stuff, but I've played this game for 2000 hours. I don't have any gray in my beard yet. I'm not some old guy just sitting on a couch spewing nonsense. At least not yet. Uh, we might be getting there. Who knows? But anyway, this is what I want to show you just to clear up. I have a whole bunch of clips to go through. Yes, I was cutting some of those clips for the entertainment factor. I didn't want to like sit there and just spectate hours and hours of footage. But today we're going to go through it all and share what I cut or removed from those videos. Because I, I think I just want to see yeah, what I think the explanation was here. Like controls room. To the right, right here. He makes a really good read on the rogue. Yeah, this rogue is different. All of you guys confuse this. Oh, this okay. rogue is different rogue. than the rogue he fights this at the end. Scary, by the way. Uh, where I'm spectating. This is a different rogue. I uh, could have been confusing yeah, my video, not sure. Kind of geared. Kind of geared rogue. Yep, we, we understand this. Good read. Uh, moving on. He does kill this rogue. It does end up happening. I think he actually like double taps him. Yeah, I won't comment on his on his aim. It was uh, three shots, I believe. I think I, I killed him in three hits. Just experience gameplay okay sure let's go with that last one was really weird to slow it down just saying um andy oh, double taps him up, crazy really want to finish that guy off all right so that guy is different than this guy okay this guy at the end here which i've shown you a hundred times is a different rogue that's all I'm, all i want to clear up a lot of people suggested he fought the geared rogue and then this geared rogue was lurking around so it was just kind of a good read still a good read whatever but I just thought it was really, really strange to see him sprinting around the whole lobby, not respecting any corners or any doorways. And I respect every corner and every doorway. That's not true. And I really was hoping this was included in his video because it was like, damn, he just survived a full landmine rogue. I, maybe, I, maybe that's not worth sharing. I don't know. But I thought it was strange. He didn't even show the moment in his clip. All right, so... Basically, at this point, I was already full, fully looted. I go to the doorway, I saw the lights off, I jumped on the torch, and uh, the thing is, I jiggle pick. Okay, let's put all of that aside. Like, if I knew the rogue is right here behind the door, why, what do I need to prove here? Like, that's what I'm just trying to figure out. I could just simply go to the other extract or doorway. Why do I need to risk all the gear that I've already received? There is no point for me to even be here. I could have just go elsewhere, you know what I mean? And like... It, let's assume that I know that there is a rope. Why do I need to risk it? Like, I'm just curious. Suspicious. Okay, moving on. Yeah, let's move on. I'll uh, we'll get to this. We'll go back to this. Sorry. Staring at a blank screen. Okay, this one. This one I shared. Yep. 
I did not cut this one. The suggestion was I cut this. I did not. You cut the most important parts when you threw Francesca X at a warlock that used invisible potion. And also you cut the part when I was playing on a rogue, which made it look like I had no fucking information, which in fact I did. He cut oh, this. Shit. Look at this homie. I, I don't know how he's fully geared up and prepared for this guy. I don't oh. know where this interaction started or what happened. It's just weird. Like, why wouldn't you show some of the lead up to that? I don't understand why you wouldn't. Keep in mind, keep an eye out at the timer. Right now it's 726. Just keep an eye out on this number. That's all. That's all I have to say here. It just makes it makes me think you're yeah, doing really bad so shit, desperate. which could be very likely, right? So two minutes has passed. I was there alone. I healed up. I came across the rogue. I started fighting him. What else is okay? Oh shit. He, he, Anyway, we'll move on. I just wanted to show you I didn't cut that. Okay, I did not cut that. That's not me doing that. That's editing at work. If this was all live streamed and stuff, it would be way easier to understand all these decisions. But I don't I don't have that luxury. And yes, I took a huge risk showcasing some of this stuff in my video. But I, I'll live by the sword, die by the sword, whatever happens, so be it. I am standing by the fact that I just don't think this behavior is natural in Dark and Darker. Okay, so what's this one? This one is... G -G, brother. This one is the one I shared. Yes. Okay. He kills a ranger. Kills a ranger, then cuts a bit. I heard sound to my left. So I heard the spider, and pretty much that's the room to my left is where the spiders are at. You could go check it out yourself, and that's where I'm going. Claims he heard a player. It was like such a small cut. It was such a small. Like, why couldn't you just like include the moment maybe where you heard the guy or something? You because are my meal, brother. this this tracking after staring at the wall oh, is just so weird to me. Done. We'll watch the whole thing. G -G, we'll watch brother. the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, All this is happening. Sorry, I went back a little too far. You I'm bad at this. Meal, brother. We'll watch it. I genuinely don't think you're good at this game. I don't think you're good at anything, in fact. And the last thing you should do is tell that someone is shitting. That's there. Okay, heard so, somebody. And then I just pointed at the wall where I possibly could have heard someone. That said, people who's gonna watch me, I'm trying to point out where I heard direction and the place where I'm going to potentially find someone to fight with. That's it. I would assume it's gonna be in the zombie room. Zombie room. And, All right. Um, yeah, that's. I didn't mean to say zombie room. I meant to say spider room. And that's where I heard a uh, spider or centipede or something. I heard some noise and that's where I'm going to. Where are we gonna go? I expected a guy to be close by if he really heard him, room. like well, that's ten seconds ago. Exit right there. So this one is gonna lead to the spider. It's just room. like convenient, you know. And these, so, yeah. I showed some of these before, and people oh, suggested it's just like already. people knowing the the game really well, knowing where every player is and where they spawn and whatnot. Good move. It, potentially, it could be that. I just find it crazy that a player is able to do this every single lobby. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. We'll skip this one. That By the way, it looks like this time around he didn't cut most important piece of information. He's probably left the footage as is, because this is before I fought the warlock and not just when I threw my axe at him. We'll move on to the next one, the warlock one. Okay, warlock one. A lot of you guys are confused by this because yes, because you cut out extremely important information. In this part you made it look like I threw a random axe and hit a warlock when in fact I had the knowledge where the guy was at. You didn't include it in the last video and you made it look like I'm hacking. And by the way, you got called out on this. Uh, I apologize, I cut this one out. There is a Franny here, and this is the point I was trying to make on Frannies. Why are all the Frannies like jittery? I'll zoom in a little here, nice. Um, why are all the Frannies so like, so jittery at the last moment, but not all the time? And I'll show two examples of this. All right, we'll just show this one first, get it out of the way. It just seems odd to me. You would be aiming to the right if you wanted to hit this guy with the arc on the franny. But then it's... I didn't touch anything there. That's his aim going center mass. Okay. We'll watch at full speed. Like I said, you'd probably be aiming ahead of the player. Oh, yeah. He was... Anyway, he finds this guy. Whatever. We won't talk about that. Um, that's the warlock. That's the warlock. He inspects this guy pre-game. Does show it. Want to kill this guy. Finds him uh, quite early on. But the franny... Huh? Like it's, it's just there are a number of reasons why this could have happened. One, it could be my premier pro 
two, it could be my OBS, three, it could be my CPU overload, maybe GPU or something. Um, but what else could be? A player could get in the render distance and that could have make it lag. Just a weird hesitation, and I don't know how to explain it. So this whole engagement with the Warlock, I showed... A homie used Potion of Visibility, I saw it, he did it again, and you tried to cut it out in your previous video. The invis part. Will not do. Warlock does go invis. So he has that information, which is, which is fair. Okay? Has the information. Don't hear the Warlock pot. Which you so a homie got behind the wall, and he used Potion of Invisibility. He drawed that weapon out, and that's what I clearly heard. He already tried to do this, but I caught him. He definitely tried to do it again. That's basically what was his threat. And that's how I knew that there was a guy somewhere. Can't tell. Okay. You can watch it back yourself. You don't hear a potion What here. is the homie doing there? And I think he acknowledges that. There's no real no way to know right. where this warlock is. My friend is ready. <laughs> and, and you could... I saw the guy went in with, I assume he tried to do the same thing. And since I have a ton of Francesca axes, I just start throwing. And um, what would be the worst case scenario? I simply would have picked up my Francesca axes and re-equipped them. That's all. I could make a really good guess that this is where he's sitting oh, on a shit. really hard angle. That's with, um, incredible. Okay. Frenny. Now these Frennies are all, three down all good. Just do this more often. What's oh, with all the weird stuttery shit okay. locking on to players at random times um, okay and we'll watch a really good one this is what i think a perfect franny toss is aiming in front of the player you get the arc right okay, in the center cool. mass perfect but like what's why horrible throw. Like, am i missing something here oh, no. yeah you did miss to show that in the last video and everybody thought including summit that i was cheating that because i threw that francesca axe and the thing is now that we have all this information what is your accusations? That bunch of frames got skipped? I don't get why this one looks so weird to me. Why does it do this? Huh? That's... Why is that happening when it doesn't happen on any of the other throws? Like, he's hitting those other ones, he's aiming ahead of the player, he's, he's reading the arc on his franny, and then... Oh god, well, I mean... Listen, here's the proof that I'm playing laptop. <laughs> one year ago I bought it, just to play Dark and Darker and make content, that's all. These ones just seem off to me, and I'll show... This was the point I was trying to make with the Franiac stuff. It wasn't that he was hitting every shot. It's that his behaviors... Like, the, the aim is changing based on when that Franny is tossed. Not because of his aim, I don't think. And it's, um... Like, that's such a weird motion. If this looks like aimbot to you, like, you have to be fucking on something. I can't explain it. Someone else please do. All right. Enough of that. That in comparison, maybe we'll find like the really good toss and, and show you guys. I, I fully agree. He hit a lot of really good throws here. Nothing weird about them. Those ones are just like confusing me. And they're throwing me off because they happen like inconsistently throughout any of the videos you see. So basically the guy just accused me of cheating based on fucking anecdotal evidence. Oh, that's great. Uh, is this it? I hope this is it. I don't want to take too long on this. Okay. Yeah, this is a good one. Beautiful. Love it. No weird motion of the mouse. No weird, like, stutter to center mass that actually puts it off target because the player is moving in a different direction. Strange stuff. Okay. I'll give up on that because I'm sure people will pick through, like, everything I just said a million times over. Next one. Uh, this one might be a new one. Dungeon. This one might be a new one. All right. Usually this one is kind of crazy in my opinion. Out. All right, well, you can clearly see lags right there. There is a goblin mage, dead goblin. Usually it's supposed to be more to the middle of the room, but it's not. I've noticed that, and also the fact that I killed the mob, and there is no goblin mage, which means there is someone is likely to be here, because it's very freaking early into the game. Literally one minute has passed, and um, if someone already killed the mage, it means there's got to be someone in this area. So you just use rage, because it has a low cooldown. And if there's no one here, well, you're gonna get the skill back. It's not a big deal. So we can Achilles. And then Rages. Okay. Very odd. He actually Achilles and Rages, like, before the rogue comes up. If I knew the rogue was there, question is, why would I even go there? Why couldn't I just simply wait out until he runs out of invis? And most importantly, when you press Rage, there is gonna be a significant delay. And basically, I press Rage because I planned 
that there's probably gonna be someone further down the line, not behind me. Why would I press rage in front of a guy who could stop me multiple times when, in fact, it's also gonna reduce my physical damage reduction? Just doesn't make fucking any sense. That is stealth, which is suspicious. I'm allowed to say that. It's really weird to have this many, like, awesome moments happen. We'll try to find, like, the perfect, the perfect time for this. Let's just go through this slowly. Okay. And remember, remember, Rage has, like, a, a charge up time, so his hand will probably move before, before, um, we'll slow it down. His hand will probably move before, uh, whatever happens, like, the Rage actually shouts. So he presses it right now. And then he's gonna attack by a rope. Holy! Uh, um, it could just be no. very convenient or three thousand hour gameplay. It is what it is, but I don't understand what reasoning he would have to press rage here. That's something you want to hold on till, like, uh, until you're actually in a PvP engagement. I mean, he literally fucking just self-explained it. You don't want to get caught pressing rage when you're getting stabbed because there's gonna be a long time frame when you will not be able to attack. You're gonna raise your hands. And basically, if the rogue is geared, he will kill you in three hits because you're gonna lose physical damage reduction. Oh wait, there's another rogue, by the way. Yeah, there's another rogue here. Uh, it's sure. Just, wait. It's fun. I was talking about. I didn't expect the homie gonna be this close. He didn't expect a guy that close. Okay, fair enough. He got lucky, I guess. All right. So this one is the one everyone seemed to be really confused about as well because they think I'm nope. a. I'm assuming he's yeah, aim locking onto a post or something. We'll be able to catch up to this one. I one wasn't one. assuming that at all. What what I was suggesting, like I suggested in the last for anyone, was that it's not actually him that's. I don't think aiming. It's like there's a weird change. Where the fuck am I going here? There's a weird shift in the aimer. A nope. frame before, like a the frame, the exact frame that he shifts into panther form, and I don't understand that. That doesn't Where compute with my head. Here? We'll watch it slow, and I, well, I know you guys have seen this, but this is my this is the reason why I showed it. It wasn't because like I, I'm showing him miss a, a druid form. I'm, I'm showing you guys like the the hop that happens right there, and it happens again. And he shifts again. It happens again, and then he does end up exactly on the chicken. Which sure, that could be good aim. Not gonna lie, watching this guy making me think that this guy's probably playing was arguably the worst aim, but in dark and darker. Holy fuck, no, it's actually so bad, it makes him miss his on purpose. First he aimed at the pillar, then he aimed god knows where. Well, let's see what Wilson has to say here. But why are the, the, the jitters the second the panther's changing? I don't get that. It's So the guy accused me of having a jittery aim and um, having my game lagged every time a druid transformed. So is it hacks or is it because the druid maybe not entirely polished and just recently got released? suspicious okay that's what i was trying to trying to get to i wasn't trying to suggest that he was 180ing and locking onto the post that's just like really silly of me. there's two really clear jitters in his aim the nope. second the second those frannies are well basically the second that the druid changes and the second the franny's thrown and if you looked at the other clip with the warlock his frannies are smooth he's putting them in front of players he's not readjusting it's it's just Maybe the whole issue is because I'm fighting a druid and when the druid transforms my game lags. Didn't you think of that? <laughs> I don't know. It could be the case here, actually. It's like smooth. Okay, it makes sense. He's good at aiming. Okay. But those ones, why why the stutter? Like why the stutter why the stutter sticking in there? Don't know. Can't explain it. Alright, next one. Another example of a Franny doing this weird stutter thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, new one as well. What is that? Why is it making that weird movement when you already have it on the guy? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So we'll watch this one back again. Isn't it just regular flick? Uh, like I said, there was a lot of these moments and I didn't catch them all. Like I'm not, I'm not that good at finding all this stuff. But that just seemed odd to me. What's with that weird little jitter? Bro, I don't think you're good at fucking anything you do. In fact, you should not be telling who is cheating and not based on your anecdotal evidence go in this fucking cyclop room go to traps and your game will start lagging and why is that jitter not in other other times when you're aiming i, I just maybe because other times my pc doesn't lag <laughs> find that inconsistent and strange suspicious you could say okay i've been yapping a lot we're going quickly though this is good 
another one. This is, oh, this is the Franny. Okay, this is just another view of that Franny. Okay, never mind. Uh, this one, this one's a good one. Okay. This one is like, once again, it could be 4,000 hour gamer brain. No, no, no. But no, no, no. he's getting cooked by a wizard. Okay, oh, getting cooked by a wizard. His spells are fucking hurting. You know, like they're doing some damage. All right, so keep an eye out. I'm half health. I'm trying to equip green bandages. I'm trying to get to the doorway that I see to my south, and I'm just trying to get my HP back. A lot of damage. So he needs to heal. Makes the right decision. Closes door. Tries to heal up. All right. Well, He's we healing. Heal up. Yep. Burns great. Great idea. I like that. Even green bandages got buffed. After one potion, one green bandage, I'm going to be full HP. Even me being as dumb as I am at this game. Great idea. What the fuck? I don't understand what where the decision... Here, like, what the, fucking the change was that... That went from, I want to heal, I need to get full HP, to, I'm going to push through this door with a wizard on the other side of it. I could potentially zap, fireball, magic missile me. I honestly start to think that this guy is just trolling me. Like, I'm gonna be full HP after one potion and green bandage. I legit start to think that all of this is just to fucking troll me. And that's why I just don't understand. Right, we're just gonna heal up. It's just we very convenient all his fucking spells. that he has another bandage in hand. Guys, clear evidence. You gotta trust Wilson. Potion of Chugger is broken. I'm already full HP, by the way. And you can literally get full HP. Goes back through the door, oh, makes a perfect read, here, brother. and it's that's it just happens a lot. Man. And that's <laughs> all I was suggesting in this video. That there wasn't just the clips that I shared that were. Nagalai, this is arguably the worst example you could ever fucking come up with. Full HP bar breaking door to put pressure on a wizard who already spent a bunch of spells. Were concerning. There's a lot more of them. So, like I said before, form your own opinion. Do what you want to do. Whatever. Uh, I took a huge risk making this stuff and putting it out there, and I apologize to the Discord and all the moderators and all the people trying to keep this shit under wraps. I really didn't expect it to be such a massive, such a massive reaction. And I get it; the the content is subjective. I can't be the one that decides he's a cheater. I'm just sharing with you that I thought it was suspicious and I thought the gameplay wasn't making sense. All right, so I think this pretty much kind of sums it all up. We already have like the end. Um, I could show you this video. This is actually the one that I still have. It's basically, this is how much space I have. I have 900, I'm, <laughs> this is how much space I have. And basically, I have to delete from time to time in order if I want to make another video. And yeah, I think this is like a really old one. Um, let's actually quickly go here. And um, I do believe it's somewhere. Okay, here I fight a fighter. I remember this name, and here I fought a, a wizard. And you can also hear the difference between the audio in his game and the audio in this video. It's drastically different. So I'm half HP. I'm trying to get away. I do remember there was a door open and basically while trying to get there I'm trying to equip a potion to heal up and then I just use a couple of pots and I'm full HP. And you can see I'm full HP here. By the time the potion gonna run out, that's it, I'm full HP. And then he just sits here. And basically, this is the reaction that I had in game. I was like, "That's that's funny or something." No, oh. the homie decided to take a sit by a fucking doorway. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. No, that was actually funny. Like it was a stupid play. That's all. Well, I mean, that just the amount of um, stuff. By the way, like here, I have a video called Cheater. It was a pretty old video. I died to actual cheater, and um, I saw half naked guy. I was like, "Oh, bet." I waited for him to go through the webs, but uh, his um, aimbot was kind of cracked. He was hitting me from so far away, and then he just headshotted me. And basically, he's supposed to have negative amount of action, but he was attacking me so fast. So yeah, the homie was just cooking real hard. But anyway, speaking of this video, I. 
completely have no fucking idea. Like none of this shit makes any sense other than just random of a uh, bunch of speculation. Like it's the whole fucking evidence he provided is anecdotal based and um I know it's just a bunch of bullshit. Like anyone who played this game more than three, four hundred hours would know that this is complete BS. And basically what the guy is doing is nothing other than a witch hunt to chase a little bit of cloud. And I hope he does well. Anyway, it's Demo and I'll see you in the next one.